Welcome back, everybody, to my living room. We've been talking a lot about motorcycle protection, urban apparel, stuff like Vectra pilot leather jacket, John Doe bomber flight jacket, Ugly Bros, Saint Model 3 jeans, the Ghoul and Bursty hoodie, the Ken hoodie, and many others. What do they all have in common? They all have pockets for this stuff. This stuff is impact protection foam. And I bought a whole bunch of it, or I just had a whole bunch of it from buying so much gear, so I thought I'd review some of the pros, some of the cons, some of the ones that I like out of the selection. Let's dive into that. You see this thing? That's pretty awesome. Moto Reverie Print. Now that's my bike. Pretty freaking cool. Shout out to those guys. Super creative. Amazed at the skills and how much that actually looks like my bike. I mean, look at these details. So check them out, link in the description. Starting off, this is the D3O Viper, and it actually CE rated level two. Uh, I'm not gonna be talking about back protection because I only have one back protector. 18 millimeters. If you're not aware, impact protection foam is soft when slowly moved and hard when impacted. Well, if you were to crash, and then you fly off, your back would be supported and rigid because of the D3O armor. Fast, stiff, slow, pliable, bendy, like Gumby. I don't know if you guys actually remember that show. I'll put it here, Gumby. All right, so this was just for reference, mostly comparing shoulders, elbows, knees, hips. That's most of what I'm buying. I can put this in most of everything else. It is a little bit long. They come in different sizes, so heads up. Side note, I'm not gonna dive into the CE rating specifics. Everything I'm comparing actually is rated at the same category. 1621-1-2012. And only one item actually is rated at a higher level. Now the level indication is how much they shoot at the thing, how much they test it, and how much rigor it actually goes through. Level two is slightly better than level one. Put it through more tests, they shot a higher level of mass at the foam and it, did, and it performed better. There's so much else. I could dive into CE approved, CE tested, CE certified, all levels that I will not dive into because I think you guys will just either be wearing armor or not wearing armor. So if I can get you to wear armor, I win. I'm gonna mostly care about a couple categories, thickness, breathability, flexibility, color, and price. Five things, I'll rate them all and I'll kind of give my opinion as we go through this whole exercise. Let's dive into the first pair. My first pair of motorcycle apparel was actually Ugly Bros. Bought them from my local motorcycle shop, Piston Society, check them out, and loved them. Included came Power Tector armor. So that is this armor, knee and hip armor. I think it's kind of updated since I've bought them. This is the new style that came in with the Ghoul and Bursty. This is your elbow protector and this is your shoulder protector. These are all about 13 millimeters thick. They don't breathe very much, meaning there's only a few holes on there. Now this is a CE rated level one. I'm gonna compare these to the others. So in terms of the others, these are gonna be a minimal flexible, but they are soft. They're flexible, but when you have them on, you feel that they're there. It'll probably run you around $40 for a set of knee and hip armor. Likewise for the shoulders and elbows. Overall, I can't complain. I've been wearing these for a year and a half, two years, in my Ugly Bros pants. I don't mind them. I actually feel protected. The hip armor gives me a lot of uh, cushion in the hips. Never gone down with them, but I will say that they are flexible on the bike, but in compared to the others, they are kind of at the lower end of flexibility and breathability. They're black, they blend in, that's a good thing. Knox Urbane Pro is the top under jacket, shirt, summer wear that can kind of be used year round, but if you just wanna wear it by itself, you can throw it on over a t-shirt, and this is the armor that's in that by a company called Knox. Very similar to the last one that we looked at, except they're yellow and they have a little bit different structure, and it's actually the same level of rating, CE rated level one. 
This set of armor is for the shoulders and knees. They make a whole bunch of styles, form, and functions on their website, but this is actually what comes included in the Knox Urban Pro. These are, again, around 13 millimeters thick at their thickest point, and they come to a slight edge, just like the last ones. In terms of flexibility, these do have a kind of bendable slit pattern, so it's able to stretch, but it actually is kind of sharp. I don't know if I prefer that or the other. Either way, it's a good product. You can feel that it it's the CE level rated impact foam. Got the Knox branding, so you know it's good. Breathability, I'd say it's again, very minimal compared to the other part of the lineup. Flexibility, it gives you a little bit more than the power tector, but not much. It's a little rigid. For a set of four, these will probably run you about 50 bucks. T3O. T3O is the brand. If you wanna learn more about CE rated, buy D3O and read this freaking book. So it takes you through all the levels of protection, levels at which they conduct the testing at certain temperatures, because some of you guys are riding in the Arctic tundra. I'm a fair weathered rider for the most part. I mean, you may see me out in some a little bit of rain, a little bit of snow, not much. Uh, this will take you through in detail actually what the ratings mean. Enough with this book. This is D3O Ghost Armor. Ghost. D3O Ghost, it's been on my radar for a while. It is freaking thin. Comes in at seven millimeters thick and it's tapered off at the edges a little bit. Has a little bit different structure, as you can see. It's different than the rest, but look how flexible that is. Body roll, body roll. That is flexible. Fabric on the back, I think that's to keep the structure together because it is glued there, but this is the same, almost the same D3O fabric as the back protector. Again, orange, black on the backside. This is the knee or would be a knee slash elbow. This is the shoulder slash hip. I've worn these only a couple times in my ugly bros and you can barely even tell they're there outside of the little orange sliver coming up. Let's put a photo up here. In terms of weight, that's like nothing feels feels substantial. Seven millimeters thick. You can see through the mesh pattern, so it is breathable. I mean, if you hold it up, it's uh, pretty breathable. Besides the, the fabric on the back, this is just wide open to, to air. Whereas the old style D3O actually had to cut a few of these open. Really no sweating occurs with these as opposed to the others. And this is where I think we've turned a corner in terms of lightness, sleekness, flexibility, breathability, all of the above. And it's really not that much more expensive than the rest. This set will run you about $70 US. If you don't have anything because you were thinking it's bulky, get this stuff. You can tell it's there a little bit, but not much. The hardest part in my mind, because things are getting this thin, is holding it in place. It wants to slide around a little bit. I think there may be some creative ways of getting around that because this is just released. They haven't found a solution there. It may be a little bit of Velcro action or something. So far, I'm wickedly impressed. CE level one, same level as all of the others. Seven millimeters, maximum breathability, flexibility, maximum. Holy cow. Highly recommended by myself, even after just a couple wears. Last but not least, Azoc Technology AXOC. These hit my radar because a kin has them on their website, or used to, they were sold out, I couldn't get them. Went direct to Azoc, picked these up. How they stack up to the Ghost is really all that matters at this point. Look at this. You can see me through them. What the heck? But you know what? These are not level one, these are level two. CE rated. That means they're actually a little bit better than the D3O Ghost. Now I haven't looked into the details, but on paper, they're a little bit better. Seven millimeters thick again. Actually, I think the D3O is 6.5 millimeters, but 0.5, what does it matter? This is what would be a shoulder. This would be your knee. Very similar size to the Ghost. Almost identical. The Azoc is just a little bit bigger in circumference, but it's really the unprotected area. I actually haven't worn these yet, but they are just as thin as the D3O Ghost, so I suspect that they are gonna perform the exact same. Now these are black, and they come in a variety of sizes, even outside of the ones that you see here. In terms of breathability, 
no restrictions, no fabric there, no nothing. They do come with a Velcro sleeve if you wanted to make sure that it stayed in your apparel as you wore them. I have pockets for everything that I'm gonna use them with so I didn't get the Velcro sleeve. I'm not quite sure how they are that much different and more protective than the D3O Ghost when just pushing down. It feels like the D3O would be a little bit more on the protective side. Maybe because of the circular pattern, it does a little bit better than the D3O. So these are black, the same exact price you would get the D3O Ghost, you can get four of these. Conclusions, what would I buy, what would I do? See this stuff? I wouldn't use it. If you got the extra money, throw this aside and pick yourself up some D3O Ghost or Azoc depending on your style. Check both of them out, I'll link them below. Side note, I'm not getting anything from these companies. I purchased both of these items on my own. So hopefully that tells you that I'm not biased on anything. I want you to go to the bar feeling protected and not look like a freaking idiot. Buy this stuff that hides easy in your Akin, in your John Doe, in your Saint, in your Ugly Bros, in your Pando, in your motorcycle apparel that's hiding amongst the crowd. Ride safe, get yourself some armor that slides easily between those pockets. and. And watch out for the next video. Comment below, tell me what you guys wanna see next. I got Rogue Motorcycles coming up, more vlogs, maybe a t-shirt feature, because you guys always ask about my t-shirts. See you guys in the next one. Be safe, peace. Oh. I'm overheating again, but you gotta re remember to check out Motor Reverie. This freaking thing is killer. Oof. Pick yourself up one of those. All right, see you in the next one. Later.